Hello all, this is the second video in the concept art series for beginners. And you can see that I'm now continuing from the shape image and now I'm going to be moving into form. What I just did is laid a digital water glaze over it. Again, I use digital water throughout the painting mainly as a glazing tool and then I could pull back out of it. So as you can see here, I laid over a kind of a light gray uh, value and then I've gone to the color wheel and just grabbed white and I'm pulling back what was underneath just to start to find edge and in this I'm I'm now I'm developing the light source the light source there'll be two major light sources in this image one coming from behind the headless horseman and then one coming from off screen right and so the things in the foreground um, will be um, hit with a light on the right side and move into shadow on the dark. And then things that are the objects that are right close to the Headless Horseman will actually have uh, two light sources on them. So you can see I'm just uh, picking out edges, going around and defining uh, these shapes. I dried my digital water and now I'm using the glazing brushes. My two favorite are construction and the pencil stencil brush. And so you'll see me jumping back and forth. The stencil brush allows me to get in tight with some detail or the pencil stencil. And then the constructing brush is what I'm using right now. It allows me to uh, develop larger light side of area and really I'm just going through and starting to create visual interest. Right now what I'm doing is uh, using the new texture brushes so I'm using the texture brushes to to basically just beat up the painting. I'm taking some random texture I think this is concrete in order to create some variegation in the leaves up top. This is uh, an art table that's in my studio at the university that I teach at. So I took a picture of it and I will drop in that texture because it's so random. It's kind of abstract. This is uh, concrete texture. Uh, and I, as you can see over in my layer palette, I don't use a lot of layers, rarely use a lot of layers, but when I use textures or I'm creating effects, now I'm using an abstract uh, texture. I'll create a number of layers and then to make them work what I use each one of them they may be multiplied uh, under the the layer attribute bar they may be soft light most often they're soft light and overlay or they are multiplied if I want them darker. Now I'm back to using the glazing brush uh, constructing brush and uh, the glazing media and the constructing brush. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite brushes. Corel Painter 17 has only been out for a short period of time and the constructing brush has been uh, one of my favorite brushes, new brushes to uh, use in building up and blocking in the painting. So in this stage, I'm really just trying to find edge. I'm trying to get my light source squared away um, and creating a little bit more visual interest. So where's the light coming from? And continuing to modify the shapes, throw a lot of texture in there that I can use in building up the painting. And now, as you can see, I go back to the digital water with another value, and I'm really trying to set the mood. So it's really important in this stage also with where I'm considering the light is to set the mood of the painting uh, in its value stage because it makes the color part of the painting uh, that much uh, easier. And you can see I'm throwing in one last texture uh, before, before I'm going to go to color.